I've always been a huge Harry Potter fan, so much so that I even watched the entire Punjabi dubbed version of it just for fun. Harry Potter, girl, listen to me. You're Harry Potter, you're Harry Potter. But today, today I found a video game that will not only ruin my childhood but also yours. This game is called PS2 Hagrid, and just to give you a hint of how stupid it's gonna be, just listen, listen to this. Yep, that, that. <laughs> That's coming from the game. That's the theme song. Basically, we as Harry Potter did something very wrong and got put into Azkaban, the prison for the worst of the worst in the Harry Potter universe. We meet Dobby, who can for some reason teleport wherever he wants, and we beg him to help us because we have an interrogation in a few days. Dobby agrees to get us out of the prison as long as we bring him 12 fluid medicine? Am I just smuggling stuff? I'm already starting off in a torture dungeon. What? The <laughs> what is this game? Okay, how do I get out of this? I'm literally locked in a cage like I'm a zoo animal or something. Oh wait, I have- Okay, I'm supposed to use Alohomora. FBI, open up! <laughs> what? Okay, I need- I'm like, oh, ah! What the f- What is that? Get away from me! Why did that actually scare me? It's just a dumb PNG! So just seconds into this game, I was already reminded of how terrible an experience it was going to be. But also, how I have a brain of a two-year-old monkey. It turns out that these monsters were Dementors. You know, monsters that you literally can't kill. Crucio! Crucio! I don't have Crucio unlocked! But luckily for me, the developers gave me at least something to protect myself from these horrible monsters. Potato. Okay, I can't, <laughs> I can't even show it that on what? YouTube. For context, it's just protection. Really good protection. Can I just place unlimited? I can just place so many. Oh, he just knocks it out of the way. That's not helping. This is not protection. However, when I was at my lowest and felt the enroaching darkness fondle me for the last time, I saw the man, the myth, the professor. What is that? What the f <laughs> <laughs> Professor Snape? Hey! You know, this game isn't that scary. Oh my god. Professor Snape getting jiggy with it, bro. He's doing the Shava Shava right now. My faith was renewed. The light had returned to my eyes, and I felt inspired to continue through the layers of hell that was PS2 Hagrid. I collected more of the jelly beans laying around and fed them to Dobby. And after enabling the small elf's addiction, we were teleported outside the walls of the prison, where I would spend the rest of my day as a happy man. At least that's what I thought. Here you go, Dobby. Can we leave? Dobby will now get him outside the castle. Okay, we're outside in the forest. Where's Dobby? Dobby Potter! Dobby Potter! Oh, wait. Dobby! Dobby! Feeding Dobby jelly beans gave him the same reaction as when a dog is fed chocolate. Don't. <laughs> don't do that. Dobby has been attacked by Professor. What are you talking about? Dobby, who attacked you? Dobby commits to die. <laughs> no! I need to get out of here as quick as possible. Maybe you can find enough Obama ores to challenge Hagrid. I need to find Obama ores? What? What's, what's up? What's breathing? What is breathing? Is that, why is this in the game? I was just picked this up. Wait. Oh! What the? What is a demigorgon after me? What the? For a reason that the infinite wisdom of which surpasses my own, Obama, the former president of the United States of America, was the plot driving catalyst the Infinity Stones wish they could be. I need 10 Obama. Uh, Obamas? Ob Obama? -i? I need to collect 10 Obama -i whilst being chased by this value brand demigorgon in order to unlock the gates. But to where do these gates lead to, you're wondering? Heaven? Paradise? A five-star Aluka Prata restaurant with a 50% discount? None of these were the answer. As the most bone-shaking, unimaginable fate awaited me on the other side of those metallic gates. But to get there, I had to finish Obama. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way! Okay, got one. Six. Right click. We need one more. That's it. Okay, one more! I found it! Terra 10! 
Yobi, wake up. I got the freaking Obama oars, bro. Why is he just shaking his head? I'm dying. He's like, bro, who got you smiling like that? Bro, I got everything. I don't know what I'm supposed to do at this point. Six and a half hours later. Is this it? Is this where I escaped the forest? I just left. Did I beat the game? Wait, no. What is that? Bruh. <laughs> 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 Are you what? What the? Is this a is this a final boss fight? Where even am I? Hagrid, you're supposed to be the good guy. Don't you remember we were friends in all the Harry Potter? What is that? What is that a chuck? <gasps> oh, you did not. Can I use my Crucio on you? Crucio, Crucio. I'm actually hurting him. Is this it? Do I just hit Crucio at him? Die, die. <laughs> this is like Attack on Titans. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh my god, you're getting faster! The more health he loses, the faster he gets. I need Protego. Protect me. I stopped an entire boulder. What the freaking dumb? This is the end, Hagrid. This is coming to an end. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Oh, he's, he's shooting out much more now. He's rapid fire. He's going rapid. Oh, no! No, 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 no! No! Please, I have 10 health! I killed him! What did I kill him? I killed him with 10 health left! I had defeated the ancient god of calamity, as they call it, and that sounds like a feat to be proud of. You know, something that would grant you a title or get a statue made of you. But little did I know, my journey was only halfway done. It's not over? Are you kidding me? What the f*** Problem. is that? Bro, who are you? <laughs> Why do we just have a regular security guard in Hogwarts? General Kenobi? Hello there. I'm in fact a new bouncer hired by Dumbledore. He said he doesn't want any uninvited guests at his crazy ass rave. Professor Dumbledore and I still have some disagreements to settle. I need to talk to him. Sorry, bruh. Can't do nothing about the rules, man. Though I haven't had a time for lunch yet. If only you could bring my doggo bread, I'm sure I could grant you access. Why does everyone just want me to do freaking stupid little favors? Now I'm supposed to find this guy's hot dog or something so I can kill Dumbledore. This is, so this is what Hogwarts actually looks like from the inside. Oh, I remember this guy. This guy is a traitor from the first movie. Where's it? Who the? Hello? How do I, I can't even go up the stairs. What's the point of having stairs? Why am I getting hit? Why are you attacking me, bro? Why are you? Why the f*** are you attacking me? What the f***? What the f I'll get you. Where is he? He's back here. Is this Tom Riddler? Die! Filled with black magic. Die! How much health? Why does he have so much health? It's just a random student walking around in the hallway. It's like the hall monitor. Is this his doggo bread? I need 50 doggo breads! Ah! Oh, 50. 50! Let me, let me put that into perspective, okay? That's five times as much as the last fetch quest they wanted me to do. Do not forget, I need to do this while dueling a bunch of students and can only see 10 feet in front of me. This... This was not gonna be easy at all, and the only way out was gonna be through. Hello there. Bruh. If I die, I have to restart completely? What? As I was traversing the insides of Hogwarts, I came across what looked to be a QR code on the wall for me to scan. So, I did it. It's supposed to take me to YouTube. As I was running from corner to corner, collecting scraps of bread, thinking how in the world am I possibly gonna get 50 without dying, I walked into a room with the answer. Is it- <laughs> Okay! There it was. A giant jumbo-sized doge bread just sitting on the top. This thing had to be worth like a hundred breads, right? I needed to get it. The only thing standing in my way was just a couple of boxes I needed to jump over, like Mario. Nothing, nothing extremely difficult, right? Except for one major problem. I couldn't jump. What's the point of having these things if I can't even jump? I'm not joking when I say this, but I, I spent two hours trying to figure out how to do this. Like, trying to make a bridge out of plastic protection for me to walk over. You know how creative a man has to be to think of that? But nothing worked. So as a last resort, I searched up a YouTube tutorial, and this, this is the moment I, I literally just lost it. It turns out, this entire time, there was a secret menu for upgrades. And nowhere in the entire game, it mentions anything about using this menu! It's literally hidden in the options! What the f- I'm such a freaking idiot! We had a skill tree this entire time where I can just upgrade everything! I need health. 
damage, attack speed, healing, jump. Okay, I should be able to jump now. Are you kidding me? This is the jump. Do you see? This is the jump. You know, I have to buy a jump. There are zero skill points. I'm just gonna restart. 12 seconds later. Okay, I can buy a jump. Buy a bunch of jumps. I'm just buying all the jumps. How high can I jump now? Yes! Yes! Okay, I can do it now. Jump. Okay. Yes! Yes! After struggling for so long, I had made it to the top. And I had found the largest loaf of bread. And just as I felt the ecstasy of success, I was swiftly reminded of what this game actually was. Okay, jump. Come on. Come on. Bruh. Are you fucking serious? Yep, turns out I did all of that effort, three plus hours, just for me to get up here and for this giant thing to cost one bread. I... I want to cry. Can I, is that the car from the movie? Can I ride that? Nope. Buying another jump. Boom! Boom. Okay, we're doing this car. Nothing? I wasted my jump point just to come here and do nothing? A few minutes later. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, we did it. We got 50 bread. Thanks, man. I was starving. Now, I'm sure it won't harm to let you in after what you've done for me. I had come so far and done so much. I thought back upon the journey I had, and I remembered the dungeon with the soul suckers, the dancing Snape, and the death of my best friend, Dobby. And now, I stood before the final test. What's that? That's the car that I saw before! <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so at this point, I was tasked with defeating... Um... Dumb... Du du double D drip car! <sighs> Suddenly, blue shells rained from the sky. My spells could only do so much, you know? You need to- you need to see for yourself! Oh, he's shooting Mario shells! <laughs> What am I playing? Dumbledore, you joined the wrong side. Dude, he's like an airbender. <laughs> he's doing TikTok dances on top of the fucking car. I'm gonna be the best wizard alive. Die! Oh, he's shooting us so much more. Die! Expecto Patronum! As I celebrate my win against Double D Drip Car and my victory of Hagrid PS2, I heard a rumble in the distance. Something that made me quake with fear as soon as I turned to see it. Wait, what? Hey, it's me, Goku! What the f- Oh my god! What is that? Super Saiyan Hagrid? Oh, oh! Bro! What am I supposed to do? Run away from this? Hagrid had come with vengeance in mind and was shooting me with large energy balls left and right. I was trying to dodge these things the best I could. I could not get a clear shot on this guy, even though he was so massive. I have to kill him before he comes here. This is turning out better than all the Harry Potter movies combined. I can buy, okay, I'm buying uh damage. Upgrading all my damage right away. Okay, he's taking so much more damage now. That's what you get. Oh! Oh, that one almost killed me. Oh, he's shooting much faster now. One more, one more boar, and then he's gone. Come on, die, 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 die. Oh my God, he's getting so much faster. I don't have a clear shot. Oh, oh my God. He's shooting four Kami Kami Kaz. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Expect, he died. Yes, yes. <laughs> I killed him. Is that it? What happens to Hagrid now? He just becomes depressed or something? Look how ugly his face is. Ah! I looked upon the work that was Hagrid PS2 and couldn't help but admire the sophisticated lore behind this masterpiece. From escaping Azkaban and killing Hagrid, to graduating from Hogwarts by shooting down Dumbledore as he did the Renegade. It was an experience that I will never forget. Actually, I will probably have nightmares about them, but that's not the point. Point is, if you, the viewer, has somehow managed to make it this far and still have brain cells, then consider clicking on this video to get rid of them. Goodbye.